Hi, welcome to this next keynote about slitting like a professional. We want to talk about all the possible parameters that in the end provide a good slitting result in your um, films, papers, banners, um, HTV application tape, magnetic film, window film, reflective film, or foam tape, whatever you want to slit with your machine. Um, first and obvious is that it depends on the right blade. We supply um, a range of five different blades for different applications that ranges from from thinner blades, like 2.0 millimeter blades, um, um, to thick ones with 5.0 millimeter. The, the thinner blades, they um, cause less heat and less friction when diving into the uh, cutting channel, um, but they are also less stable in terms of providing a straight cut so they cannot be used for all applications and their um, blades um, reduced in diameter, like 240 millimeters, so you cannot slit those large diameters with these blades, but only smaller diameters um, because they wouldn't be stable enough for those um, large diameter cuts. Then, um, there is different kinds of, of grinding for those blades. We have single bevel blades for material uh, where the layers can move on top of each other. So the typical sign vinyl or self-adhesive or pressure sensitive vinyl and paper and uh, flock films, for example, also reflective films, there the layers can can move across to the right side. So when the blade here is also a single bevel blade that's straight on the left side and with a bevel on the right side, the material will be compressed to the right and it just moves away from the, from the blade layer by layer. For material where this is not possible like uh, masking tape or application tape or application films or also those um, foam tapes here or the like. Um, we uh, use double bevel blades to um, make half of the material compressed to the left and half to the right, so to divide that 50-50. Um, then the next thing is the turning speed of the material. That's important for how cuts are uh, performed. Um, here is, uh, we have this turning knob here where you can choose your speed between 0 and 100 and typically something between 50 and 70 is the best. So not the faster the better because um, the faster the roll turns the more often you cut over a certain lever, la uh, layer of material and um, this is not uh, causing a good cut in the end, you get more dust and more um, fringes uh, inside the cutting channel. Um, so try to operate with a little less turning speed. Um, on the other hand, very, very low speeds um, result in very low torque. So if you go too low at the speed, then the motor just cannot turn the roll anymore against the force of the blade. So you need to find your way somewhere in the middle. Then uh, the cutting force is the third parameter. Try to have a strong hand or a strong arm to control the lever, to not let it bounce back up after you've hit the material once. If you hit the material once, there's only the uh, you only can go down with the blade, not up again, because then when you touch it the second time, you also will create um, fringes in the, uh, at the cutting edges of, of your slice 
So, um, and for the speed of going through the material, this is um, hard to explain. This feeling comes over time that you need um, significant force, but don't um, violate the slitting system to um, to have the maximum speed of cutting film. Just take it at a medium speed and you will see the best results from, from that. So the um, next thing uh, I want to mention is the uh, having the blade rotating freely and having it blocked. So obviously the standard with most of the material you will cut is a is a rotating blade where the blade just turns on top of the media roll moving without um, its own motor. And for some kind of material you need more actual cutting force going through the material. And for this material you just block the blade and in it's rotating. Um, so it's not rotating anymore and you can do that on two positions. So this position and then 180 degree further you can also block it. Um, the advantage is this higher cutting um, movement from the blade through the material. The disadvantage is that you get more heat and more friction inside um, the, the cutting channel and that's, uh, that's why um, if it's possible to cut a material with rotating blade it's always preferable over um, a blocked blade. And you see here also of course lubrication is not really working anymore when the blade cannot turn. So you will see um, glue building up on the blade which again makes the cutting results worse and more difficult. Then speaking of uh, lubrication, that's uh, the next thing on my list. Obviously, uh, if you lubricate your blade, you have less friction, you have less heat, you have less glue building up on the blade because the blade stays cleaner. Um, and uh, if you're afraid of having the adhesive in your material, be in touch with um, with a lubricant then, or with oil in particular, then you can also use lubricants on a water base, um, or even water itself is also better than no lubricant. So we highly recommend to use lubricant wherever possible to make better cuts, to make the blade stay clean, to stay cool. Um, this is important for having good slitting results. Also try to keep the temperature of the blade um, low at any time. If you're doing cuts through difficult material, many cuts just in short time, one after the other, then you might even need a, a break at some point to let the blade cool down again. Um, because when it uh, gets hotter, then the glue in the material will melt even um, more easily and then you get those problems of layers sticking together and that's um, not good for professional slitting. Then the um, environment temperature and temperature of the material is also um, important and not always under control. Um, so there is a difference of using a machine in a cold spot in winter time um, against using it in hot summertime with all doors open and uh, not only the machine and blade will have a different temperature then but also the material itself. So if you imagine you cut a roll of um, masking tape in, in winter, it's less likely that the glue will start to, to come out of the cutting edges and to make the layers stick to each other than it is in summertime where the base temperature is already much higher. So in summer you need to watch even closer that um, your blade stays cool and doesn't heat up too much with um, cuts in a short row. 
Then one more obvious thing is the, uh, the web tension or a winding tension of the roll you're about to slit. Um, I want to give you an example here. So if we only take that roll here and move the top layer about half centimeter, just a few millimeters, and then we have these loose parts in here, then you can see that this is not tight anymore. And once you try to slit this kind of material, you have no chance to get a good cut because those layers will start moving under the force of the, of the blade, which you can potentially see, even see. And you will never um, get a good cut from, from this kind of, of material because those layers um, will, you will produce a lot of dust and, uh, and fringes around these layers moving here. So, by the way, I need to release the blade again. Mm. So our suggestion is to, to try, um, if you have a very loose roll, either rewind it from bottom to top because the web tension control of the rewinding process will lead to a stronger and a, um, a better wound roll on top. And if that's not possible, if you only have a slitting unit, for example, then go to a low speed at around 10 and press start and then use your other hand to try to get those layers as tight as possible and then you're good to go for uh, for slitting with that tight material. This is not possible with all kinds of materials but with most of them. So um, yeah that's about the uh, the roll itself and then obviously the alignment of the head in vertical uh, in horizontal and in vertical direction is also very important. Um, when we uh, deliver a new machine, then the slitting heads are properly aligned, but uh, potentially from time to time you need to readjust um, them and make sure that the cut is really straight and not the blade making a gap in the front or a gap in the back because this leads to bad slitting results for sure. Um, the vertical alignment is a little different. There are cases where you need some sort of angle towards or from the, the vertical line. So from, so make the cut not really straight, but maybe a little like this or a little like this, very, very little actually. But this can help in certain situations to improve the cutting quality um, depending on the material you cut, the blade that you cut with, how thick the slice that you cut is, and many more parameters. So this is, uh, uh, requires a lot of experience with what you're doing at the slitting machine to um, know how to readjust your head to even increase the, um, the quality of your, your cuts. And, um, one last thing, I only mentioned so far the, the general bevels of the blade, but also, of course, the, the sharpening of the tips of the blade is very important to have real sharp blades, but not too sharp, so they start to, to break easily, um, because then if you have, if you have uh, parts of the, of the tip of the blade missing, you will see bad cuts again, so it's difficult to find the right combination um, on making it sharp enough but not too sharp and um, from from time to time we are having issues with customers having their blades resharpened at local tool shops or local uh, blade sharpeners and um, those people if they don't really know what they have to do with that kind of blade to resharpen it then the results uh, maybe get get worse and the um, lifetime of the blade gets lower. So we suggest um, to let us resharpen your blade um, as a service in-house here because we know what, what you need and you get the best 
um, sharpening uh, available and have a long lifetime of your blades um, and don't have to buy new ones too often. So these um, were basically all the uh, parameters that we are aware of how you can improve your slitting results. Um, we will, um, if you have more questions about this, just send us an email or give us a call. We will be happy to help with um, special applications. We also do slitting tests here in our facilities. We can videotape everything and send you our thoughts on how to um, slit whatever kind of material you send us. Um, and we also offer training of your staff um, on site or here at our headquarter to improve the overall knowledge about um, how to perform a professional cut with our equipment. Thank you for watching today and bye bye.